Does your bag stink when you travel? It's because you don't know how to do laundry by hand. All you need is a bucket, some water, and a bottle of shampoo. Now I'm lucky I have a bucket in this place because most hotels I go to uh, you don't have a bucket. In which case I have to take a plastic bag, clog the sink, and do my laundry in the sink. Which is pretty annoying if the sink is small. This one is okay, but some sinks I've had in India are, are literally like this big. In which case you can maybe wash two, two pairs of socks and a pair of underwear at once. Trying to do a towel or a sheet or anything bigger is a nightmare. So I'm thankful for the bucket. So you fill the bucket with water, you put your clothes in, and then you just take some shampoo, squirt that on top, and then you just kind of, just kind of wash your clothes. Just get the soap and the suds right into the fabric. I usually do this for three or four minutes. And then I let them soak for, I let it soak in the soapy water for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. Now, when I travel, I only travel with shampoo. I never bring soap or uh, laundry detergent because they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, and having three bottles of things when you're traveling, that gets a bit excessive. So shampoo is all you need. I wash my hands with shampoo, I wash my clothes with shampoo, and obviously my hair. Or, well, I have hair now. A couple weeks ago I didn't have hair, which, you know, you don't really need shampoo if you don't have hair, right? So, I think most people might be uh, afraid to do laundry by hand, or they might not even think about it because they don't, they don't think your clothes, they don't think their clothes will end up as clean as if they do it in a laundry, like a washing machine. That's probably true. Uh, you know, washing machines in the West, they do a pretty good job of cleaning the clothes. But, you know, when you wash by hand, you can get them pretty clean. Now, shorts like this, traveling with white shorts, in India is a really bad idea. Uh, they get really dirty and you notice it. They're gray, if not black, after a 36 hour train ride, for example. Uh, so you need to take them. What I do with these white shorts, for example, is I, I'll get them wet and I'll, I'll kind of scrub them like this to get all the dust and the grime off. But these clothes that I'm washing right here, uh, they're not too dirty. So I'm not really gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna kind of knead them like this, kind of like I'm making bread, shampoo bread. You know, the other thing is that when you travel, you're willing to make compromises in so many areas anyway, like uh, sleep quality, food quality. So if your clothes don't end up completely clean, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, they'll be cleaner, and that's all you really need. Be cleaner, they'll smell cleaner, you know, they'll look whiter, and, uh, you know, they probably won't do as good a job as a washing machine, but when you think about it, a washing machine just kind of swishes the clothes back and forth anyway. So if you do a good job washing the clothes by hand, I think you could almost get them cleaner than a washing machine. The other thing is that people have been washing their clothes by hand in dirty rivers for thousands of years. Okay, just come to India, go to a place like Varanasi or anywhere, anywhere where there's a water source and you see people, you know, doing their, their laundry in the worst possible water you could imagine. If someone will be, you know, you'll see a woman washing her clothes, there'll be a group of water buffalo coming out of the water right next to her. Uh, there'll be like a kid peeing into the water. There'll be a couple of people swimming in the water. It's it's nasty and then you've got the chemicals from the soap that they use flowing into the river you've got all kinds of just water in India is just nasty I don't know why people go in there they bathe in there they swim in there they wash their clothes in there uh, animals well water buffalo you know 
swim in there and whatever they do in there. I don't know if animals can really live in, in these places. Um, I know there's been species of animals that have gone extinct in the Ganges River, for example. There was, the, there was a freshwater dolphin. I think it went extinct. Maybe it's not quite extinct yet, but uh, it's because there's, there's just millions and millions of tons of sewage chemicals, everything that flow into the Ganges every, every minute <laughs> or every hour. So it's just a nasty place to be. Uh, but for some reason, people, you know, they think it's holy. And so nothing better than taking a dip in some holy water, I guess. So I don't mind doing laundry by hand. It just takes a couple minutes. You just put them in the water, you swish them around a bit like I'm doing here. And then I'll let them sit for a little while and then I'll just dump out the, the, the water and I'll uh, put some fresh water in. And then uh, I'll kind of rinse them out for, I don't know, two, three minutes. And then I might repeat the process uh, once or twice just till all the suds are gone. And then uh, hang them out to dry. And that's pretty much the process.